Hi, this is Greg Lowe. This is another video in the SDU Tools series called Set AC Nulls Quoted Identifier for Stored Procedures. In a SQL Server session, you can configure how you want nulls to work. There's an ANSI null setting, and there's also how you want quoted identifiers to work. There's a setting for that. And unfortunately, these two settings are things that often get misconfigured when people are configuring their sessions, and particularly if they're creating objects in a database. So you'll find tables that have the ANSI null settings uh, on or off when they should be on, perhaps. And you can find the same thing with quoted identifier. Now, in the case of stored procedures, it can be really quite interesting to debug problems where you have these incorrectly set. And so what I wanted is to have a procedure where you could go through and cleanly set all of your stored procedures, or at least the ones you select, to a given value for both ANSI nulls and for quoted identifier. Where I came across this problem was working on a system where I was setting up transactional replication and the replication procedures, some were set with ANC nulls on, some were set with it off, but it was based upon the source system where they had inconsistently defined the tables and I wanted an easy way to go through and just fix them all. So let's take a look. Let's start by misconfiguring something here. So I'm going to start with ANC nulls off and I'm going to start with Quoted Identifier on. So let's turn that on. Now what I'll do is create a procedure with those settings. So if I create a procedure, it'll be created that way. So I can write a query to check this. So if I start with SQL modules and objects and schemas, I'm looking for all the ones which are of type stored procedure in the DBO schema and called get version. Now if I look at that, You'll notice that this one currently has ANC nulls off and quoted identifier on. So to fix that, the way I can do that now is to call this procedure. Say in the current database, I've just grabbed the database name up here and then say, look for DBO get version, I want ANC nulls on and quoted identifier off. Uh, in, just to make sure I get you to say, look, I have a backup because keep in mind, any of these things are a bit intrusive when we're doing the work, but let's try that. And then after that, if we then go back and have a look at this, you'll notice that it now has them turned on the way I wanted them in the first place. And I'll drop it again. So look, we hope you find that tool useful. For more information on STU tools and for a link to download them, please visit our site at sqldownunder.com.